Every city in America is watching Dallas tonight, and this is the question. Can human ingenuity outflank all those mosquitoes? The mosquitoes carrying the deadly West Nile virus. Dallas is the epicenter of the outbreak. Ten of the 26 West Nile deaths nationwide have occurred in Dallas. And tonight, planes will be spraying more chemicals on backyards, playgrounds, and churches as more than two million people move inside and wait to see if this works. ABC's Ryan Owens is in Dallas tonight. Crews spent the day after hosing down playground equipment and wiping off drinking fountains. After a night of pesticides raining down on Dallas, there's no such thing as too careful. Last night, those planes flew low over some of Big D's biggest neighborhoods. Residents warned to stay inside. This is by far the most difficult call I've had as, a, as an elected official. Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins reluctantly pulled the trigger on the air assault after 10 people here died of West Nile virus. He says without immediate action, the death Uniform. toll would grow. There were no scientists saying don't do it. What's falling from the sky is the same pesticide ground crews have been spraying here for weeks. Aerial spraying actually requires fewer chemicals. Just two tablespoons can treat a football field. The EPA says the chemical mist is only harmful to people or pets if it's swallowed. But some doctors say people with asthma or respiratory problems are at risk. The pesticide called Duet is toxic to bees and fish, which is why there was a scramble to cover ponds and why this family blanketed their backyard. We also have two dogs and a cat, so we just went ahead and covered their part of the yard, too, as well as the area that my daughter plays in, just to be extra safe. While those planes unnerved a lot of people, this woman says she was relieved to hear them buzz by. We've had deaths, and I think it's better to have poison falling from the sky than to have people die. Other cities that have used aerial spraying say they killed 80 to 90 percent of the mosquitoes. It will be a few days before we know how well it worked in Dallas, but other cities with smaller West Nile outbreaks will be watching.